We've seen that we can combine files together into a PDF, and we've seen that we can break the PDF apart into multiple files. We can also get down to a more granular level and add or remove specific pages within a PDF. We're working with the file guideintro.pdf. If we open up the Page Thumbnails panel, we can see that this is a two-page document, and what we'd like to do is bring in a few more pages to this document. We've just created some additional content, and we'd like to combine it together a few pages at a time. One of the ways we can do that is by going to the Tools panel, and in the Pages category, we can find the Insert Pages section. Here we see Insert from File, and if we choose this, we get a File Selection dialog box. We can navigate to the Working Files in the Chapter 5 folder, and we'll select the file guideegrets.pdf. We'll choose Open, and now we get the choice of where to insert this file. We can put it before or after any given page, and we can select the first page, the last page, or a specific page in the document. We'll go ahead and choose that we want to insert this file after the last page, and we'll click on OK. And here, if we scroll down in the Page Thumbnails panel, we can see that we've added four pages to our document appended to the end. The pages that we insert don't necessarily have to be PDFs. We can choose once again Insert from File, and we can change the file type from Adobe PDF to All Files. Then let's pick the Nesting Data Excel spreadsheet. When we select this, again, we get to choose where to put it. We'll choose to put it before page 3, and we'll click on OK. Acrobat will run Excel in the background to perform the file conversion, and once it's finished, we see that the converted spreadsheet is now the new page 3, inserted before what was originally page 3 of this document. So we've added new content right in the middle of our document simply by inserting from an existing file, and it wasn't even a PDF. But we have even more options available to us. If we look in the Tools panel, Underneath Insert from File, we see another entry called More Insert Options. If we click this, we see it's a drop-down list, and we can see that we can insert from the clipboard. So for example, if we switch over to Microsoft Word, and we've got some text and even some graphics here, we can highlight this data and press Ctrl-C on Windows or Command-C on a Mac to copy it to the clipboard. We'll go back to Acrobat, and now using this same option, Insert from Clipboard, we can see the conversion happening here, and then once again, we'll have the choice of where to insert the page. Let's go ahead and put this one after the third page. We'll click on OK. And here we have the text and graphics that we copied to the clipboard from Microsoft Word, now page 4 within our document. Again, we're just continuing to insert more and more content as we go from various sources. If we have our scanner connected, we can insert from the scanner directly into our existing document. We have the options here that we've seen in an earlier video about creating PDFs from a scanner. So in this case, we'll load from the scanner right into our current document at the location that we choose. We can even choose to insert into our PDF from a web page. This will allow us to choose a URL and use the interface that we saw in an earlier video on creating PDFs from web pages. The difference here is that the web content will be inserted into our current PDF rather than creating a new file. Last but not least, we can insert a blank page. So for example, we could choose this and insert a blank page before the first page. And now we have a blank slate that we can use to create some graphics or text for a cover page for our document. So again, you can see that there are many ways to bring new pages into your PDF. Of course, you can also remove pages from your PDF. It's very simple to do, especially from here within the Page Thumbnails panel. We can simply select a page and right-click in Windows or Control-click on a Mac, and within the Context menu, we can choose Delete Pages. We get a dialog box in which we can delete the selected page or pages, or we can delete virtually any range of pages right here from within this dialog box. In this case, we'll choose to delete from page 4 to page 5. This will eliminate the two pages that we added earlier. We'll click on OK, and after we confirm that we're sure, we can see that the pages have now been deleted from this document.
we can select the pages in the Pages panel and use the Delete tool from here within the Pages category of the Tools panel as well. And this brings up the very same dialog box. Finally, let's talk about moving pages. Changing the page order in Acrobat 11 has never been easier. Just go to the Page Thumbnails panel, select one or more thumbnails, and drag them to the new location. That's all there is to it. Dragging and dropping reorganizes the pages here in Acrobat 11. Furthermore, within the Page Thumbnails panel, we can click the right-facing arrow here to expand this panel, and we have a much larger area to work with. And now we can quickly drag and drop across large expanses of our document, and we have access to delete pages and insert pages right here within the Page Thumbnails panel. Simply click the left-facing arrow to collapse this back to normal size, or the double left facing arrow to close the panel. Now we've covered the many techniques for inserting, moving, and deleting pages within an existing PDF.